What is up my lords bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies. We have already seen the trailer for Black Ops Cold War Zombies and it was good. It didn't really spoil anything but it did show us some things as well. Over on the Call of Duty website this is what they had to say about Zombies. Black Ops Cold War Zombies is set to take veterans and newcomers alike on a bold and terrifying journey that expands on an iconic part of the Call of Duty franchise. Old school zombie fans will likely find something familiar with this new chapter. What is canon is canon, but with Black Ops Cold War, zombies are starting a whole new narrative with a new cast of characters this mode includes new ways to progress fan favorite perks will be coming back with some new ones and an arsenal of cold war weaponry that will help you dominate the waves of undead with nods to knock their untoten the original zombies map that started it all the machine takes place in the early 80s but its roots reach back even further into the past as part of Requiem. A CIA-backed international response team led by Gregory Weaver from the original Black Ops story, operatives explore this World War II bunker that hasn't only been ravaged by time. Dot, dot, dot. While fighting this new horde of zombies at this graffiti-boarded-up bunker Requiem, team go to investigate what lies beneath the structure that has been left to crumble after decades old secrets that could endanger their global order at the same time a soviet-led division rivals of requiem named omega group omega group are also have a keen interest in studying and harnessing the unexplained events manifesting around the globe between requiem and omega group there are plenty of characters who will either aid or may hinder your journey while others have separate unknown agendas that will upon the player to discover amongst this cast there is one particular contact sam who is eager to share intel discovered from deep within the kgb bolstered by various pieces of intel that the player can track now we're also told from the video posted to the call of duty's youtube channel that this takes place after the event of tagder on tolton so when both primus and ultimus uh, sacrificed themselves to save the world they destroyed the summoning key which destroyed the whole zombies world or multiverse leaving only world one world left this is sort of like for anyone who kind of is a DC fan when all the TV shows have come together and fight and basically all the worlds are destroyed or they just become one leaving one Earth called Earth Prime. This new world that was left shows us both Eddie and Samantha walk off into hoping that this world left wouldn't have zombies however they were wrong about the zombies another thing that is odd or i don't think people are putting together is that the woman in the phone boot is named sam so does this mean samantha sam says to weaver it's happening again meaning that she has already lived through zombies she could easily be referring to the previous world she was actually on but if that's the case then where is eddie Will we see Eddie? I don't really know. We also seen at the end of the video Woods is fighting off a wave of zombies which doesn't make sense as of now but weapon rarity is a thing that has been in Warzone but we never actually saw it in zombies so all weapons now in zombies have a rarity of course higher the rarity the greater the damage and more attachments so this is pretty cool in my mind because it doesn't matter really what round you are on your weapon will technically be able to do good damage now of course we have pack a punch making our turn which i presume we can pack a punch these rarity weapons as of now i don't really know about that Field upgrades are new to zombies as well and you can earn them by killing zombies from things that will help you 
kill or to even heal or even revive teammates. Perks, of course, we have the old school ones coming back and there is actually no limit to how many perks you can have. So it doesn't, it isn't just like before where you just have four perks. You can have as many as there will be in the game. As of now, we don't know how many perks will be in the game, but my guess there's probably going to be between eight and ten. Of course, this could make you really, really, really overpowered, but that just means the higher rounds you get to will be more crazy, meaning you could easily die quicker with these perks. Now, a new feature that they also have added, that Treyarch have added, to Black Ops Cold War Zombies is something called Xville. So instead of dying to end the game or just simply ending the game, you have the option to leave the area in an undead combat zone using a helicopter. However, if you do choose this option, zombie spawns will be dialed up to 11. And another great thing is all DLC maps are going to be free. And I'll leave you on this as well, that cross-gen cross play cross progression so we already know cross play and cross gen what that means cross uh, progression is you have warzone coming in black ops cold war you have the multiplayer and you have zombies that's three different uh, game modes that you will potentially if we were to do it the old way that you would have to level up and grind the hell out of just to have high levels on each however if you are someone who only plays zombies and you rank up in that and then you go over to warzone for a few games your level in zombies will be the same in warzone and in multiplayer so any weapons that you level up any uh, attachments anything like that any uh, challenges and all that that you do they will be the same level so you will be say a level 155 in zombies multiplayer you will be a level 155 and in warzone you will be level 155 you guys i hope you did like it if you did please hit the like button right beside the like button is the subscribe button and beside that is a notification bell that you can hit to stay up to date whenever i upload a video mainly about call of duty and other games of course in the future as well and news and everything like that I also have a Twitch account that I live stream to weekly. Link to that will be down in the description below. I play numerous games and you can even join me if you want. Once you're there, you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I go live over there. I have a Twitter account that I manually update whenever I upload a video or whenever I go live on my Twitch channel. Link to that will be down in the description below as well. And yeah, hope you guys like, favorite, and subscribe and peace.